are back again, ladies and gentlemen. We have one more game today. It is CD versus Lawlight. The rematch. The two met already earlier today in the upper bracket round one, where Lawlight got the 2 1 victory, but it was very close. Sini is having a great performance today. On paper, one would think he would have been the big underdog in this group, but he's just too old, colorful, very impressive with, um, with his own style. With his talent, expansion, playstyle. Fairy Dragons in the late game. But of course, Lawlight now has gotten a lot of game tape against CD. So I wonder if he has something special, tailor made, prepared. Moogle here is pretty cool. Helps for creeping. Instant level 2 on the Demon Hunter. Ooh, sick items. Sick items on the demon right away. On the illusion for both, that also helps for creeping. As well as scouting. So, the expansion seems to be an important integral part of Sini's strategy. Expo and talents. And I think the expansion is where you have to focus on against Sini. I think you have to prioritize trying to find the expansion and killing it. Because once you have a level 3 demoner, you have lots of damage just from right clicks. And you need to try to cancel the expansion if you can. Pulls in the rock golem with the illusion. That's a bit scary, but won't force anything outrageous. Thank you, into airwaves with a first time sub. Welcome. And Zimzala Wim with the resub. Thank you. One more month powered by Jeff. Hell yeah. Oh, and Lawlight this time going for his own expansion. And might just be playing the same strat as Sini. Expo and Talents. Both players getting level 3. It's been a long time for Sini. When you play Talents, it's only really good for the Demon Hunter. But for the Demon Hunter, it's quite good. So maybe you want to keep it. Oh, and Lolite. But the expansion cancelled for the opponent is getting his own expansion up in the meantime. If this works out in the end, this would be great for the Korean. All Knights level 3 was quite a bit faster, so he was the one who could be aggressive with that fast level 3. Cancel the expansion, but uh, Sini is also going to get the cancel across the map. Should be able to. The question is just how much is it going to cost him in the meantime? A player's force is under under siege. There it is. Expansion cancelled. Lawlight hunting after some wisps. Didn't get too many kills yet. But that might change, especially when he picks up the Naga, which should be the call momentarily. Tier 3 started for both. A player's forces are under attack. No lures yet. Is this just pure archers? <laughs> it's a bit weird at the moment. Here comes Hunter's Hall. Late Hunter's Hall. The town is under siege. And a good amount of archers, but not a crazy amount yet.
Moon will have one too. Heals him up again. And now we have the double wins. Finally. Pretty late. Much better late than never. Big mana is not the best find, but it's gonna take it anyways. A player's forces are under attack. And we get more archers. So in theory, mass archers should beat mass talons. However, talons can disable the enemy heroes. Archers can't do that. The light making one lore. Might be for a single MG. A player's forces are under and expanding again. Okay. It's funny how Lolai told us that he just wants to play mirror match. Exact mirror in Night Elf mirror. But he never does it. <laughs> never does it once. Either he plays MGs or mass archers, but he doesn't go into the talent mirror. Obviously, he's struggling a bit here against the Overlord. Who, whew, these waves are doing some good damage. Cloak of Flames, lol. It's gonna be a sell, I guess. Helm of Valor. Oh, that's a great item for the Demon Hunter. One of the very best in the game. a bear here. Oh, I hope it's only one bear. We have seen how bears get destroyed by talents. Healing words. Amazing item for Sini. Probably the best you could have hoped for. Normally, he adds a keeper third. Where's the keeper? The keeper. Oh, he misclicked on the anti magic. Had to buy another one. All right. See me going for the push. He's got the tinker now. Town is under siege. Okay, attacking into the main base. All light has one bear and a ton of archers. Oh, and there's no shadow priest for Sini, so he can't dispel the anti magic. Oh, wait, there is. Never mind. Where's the dispel? Oh, big mistake by Sini. Doesn't get off the abolish. Huge mistake. Was a bit sloppy. See me backing up, going for a heal scroll. All right, can he go for another anti magic? Not yet. Marksmanship archers, a lot of damage. Again, we'll see how the bears get destroyed. Quite a bit of damage, but also the Naya going far forward has to TP out to save the rest. That's what I was talking about before. Archers would be talons, but of course, the talons are disabling the enemy heroes. So, there's not looking too bad for Sini. Of course, Lolite is uh, still mining off two bases, but Sini still has a strong, strong army here. 
to pay more attention to the Shadow Priest, though. for the detonate. So plenty of mana left on the talents though. Oh, Naga in trouble as well. All the heroes here seem to be very hurt. Oh, the heal scroll was wonderful. And the board again in the back. The players have no chance against these talents. And the archers, as much damage as they do, they're super squishy. And the potion used. All I trying to kill, uh, fight and win with his demon alone, it seems like. Another heal scroll, that one was massive as well, and the Demon Hunter now for the light, almost dead, trying to save himself at the move else, gets a potion as well. Staff? Didn't use the staff in time! Oh my god, what a mistake by Sini. And the Demon Hunter staffed out by Law Light last second, oh my goodness. Sini didn't use his staff. And Law Light gets the one, oh man, it seemed like Sini. Oops, uh, post game supposed to have this one couple of big mistakes by Sini. losing the first shadow priest without getting off the abolish in the first engage huge mistake and then also uh, not staffing Sini with some yeah unforgivable mistakes law light pretty lucky here honestly this game could have easily gone to Sini. And we go into map number two. Night of Mira. And where Sini has been looking pretty damn good. I would say he's, he was in a winning position last map, but then he kind of botched it pretty badly, to be honest. And Lawlight is still trying to get a feel for how to counter this talent strat. Because the mass archers, I don't think that was really it. Should most certainly be double demon hunter again. Dude, what if Night Elves started playing Naga first? Against Demon Hunter first. <laughs> Could that work? Or would that, just, would that just be stupid? Probably a bit weird. Naga is decent of a late game hero. But not as good as the Demon Hunter normally. Pit Lord first. Now that would be dank. Oh, whoops. Wisp wakes up the creeps. That must have been accidental. Don't really want to lose these early wisps. The beautiful emulation creep for Sini. Oh, he's hitting all four of the units. Mm. That is very satisfying. Pendant of energy is okay. I guess it's pretty good for Moonwell healing, right? Sort of. Law light. Oh, this one's better, I think. Talisman of evasion. Now we can easily go for mana burn and immolation. A player's forces are under and go for a very early expansion as well. One of illusion. Also very nice to have. With that, now we can easily scout. I guess you can already scout with the wisp, actually. Maybe a bit redundant. Sini going double ancient of war mass hunts. Ooh. He wants to go all in against the expansion with hunts. We saw that before. And it didn't exactly work out in the end. 
So the light has to scout. Oh, and you will. One of Illusion. So he's got the Wisp down here, which sees no expansion. He's got the One of Illusion in the main, sees no tech. And I think he saw the Hunter Soul. So, Lolai should be very aware and very cautious. Maybe you should just I'll cancel the tree and just tech. Yep, yeah, we'll start the tech already. Expansion is cancelled. And he gets level 3 right there from the green camp. Alright, CD, what are you going to do now? Either tech or expand has to be the answer. Oh, and Lola going heavy defense. Hunter's Hall, second agent of war. Perhaps he's expecting to lose the one at the expansion. No tech yet. No expo yet. Players' forces are under attack. Sini seems to be lacking a transition. Lola, I'm probably a bit confused as well. What's going on here? This is not normal. Is he just gonna all in push with APs? Oh, looks like it. Pulling the wisps. All I had saw it super early, though. So, I think you should make a glaive right away. Yep, there it is. Makes a glaive instantly. Here's the telly staff getting home. This time he's not getting stuck. Well, that was uh, colorful earlier, to be fair. Again, AP and a Glaive coming. Lolai seems so ultra ready. Oh, Sini, you had a good run, mate, but I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Oh, trying to get this around here against the Demoner. Almost successful. I like the next blessing. I like it a lot. And the Glaive Thrower is out. Getting improved bows now as well, and the glaive should have enough damage to destroy this AP, right? 95. Oh. Rough stuff. And now the light can just tech. Go tier 3 without much concern. Forces are under attack. Blessing finally finished. One lore. And then tier 3 seems pretty likely. Sydney going for an expansion. I think Lola can expect as much. He's going to use the illusion to scout this. Yeah, Bayard would of course completely destroy this army. Seen he's buying and selling tons of items here. Got the level 4 demon, that's pretty strong. But Lolai now on his way to tier 3 and making more archers. Oh, when the demon hunter gets to the expansion, he's got the telly staff to get back if necessary. This is just super smooth play by Lolai, and everything is working out perfectly. Game 1, he was kind of lucky to win. But game two, he's just executing very nicely. Cheeky wisp. Yeah, let's repair on the Ancient of War. 
This is something I was talking about recently. When you get AP pushed and glaive push and stuff, I think an Angel's Blessing is so good. It was a bit undervalued lately by the Night Elves, I would say. While well, Izzy Manor committing in quite deep, but getting cycloned up in the air. Trying to take out the glaives in the back there, of course, very squishy. Oh, the roar from the bear! Huge! What a bonus damage. One of the wind used again, but now it's over, and the demon is killing off everything. Gets level 4 here, so that's a big heal potion as well. And the AP is finished, but way too late. And Lawlite breaking this contain is preventing this all in, and Lawlite gets the win. 2 0. This series was over a bit quicker than the first one. Lawlite definitely a bit lucky to win the first map here in the rematch. But I wonder if CD shouldn't have just stuck. With his talent play. The talent play looked seriously good. Seriously good. Even when people knew, where, knew it was coming. Even when they played MGs and Dryads. Even when they counter expanded. It still looked good. Talents. Maybe. Something for the future. We'll see about that. In the Night of Mirror. But this completes our field of players. For the second group stage. So now we know what the pairings are going to be as well. Tomorrow, on Monday, the second group stage will begin. Neo is going to cast that for you guys. And these are going to be the matches. I'm kind of jealous that I'm not there. I'm uh, visiting family tomorrow. That's why I'm not able to be here with the rest of you fine folks. Tomorrow, group A, Happy versus Lawlite. And Sock versus Soin. Dude, these games are so good. <laughs> And Tuesday, Focus versus Moon and Lin versus Foggy. Man, I'm kind of jealous. Especially Group A. Group A, super sick. Happy versus Lawlight, they meet again. Lawlight, perhaps Happy's new nemesis, along with 1 2 0. Ted Cup 13, getting towards the business end of things. Tomorrow, the second group stage begins. And then on Wednesday, it should be the playoffs. All right, the first stage of Tet Cup is over. The first group stage. And like I said, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tet Cup for the second group stage. But also, later on today, there's going to be more stuff happening here on the stream. It's the uh, Kreisliga, which is a German team league at 7 p.m. CET with Neo and guests. Okay, perhaps the playoffs are going to be at a later date. Which would be a bit weird, but... Ah, yeah, because of TP League. Yeah, true. TP League is beginning on Wednesday, I think. So playoffs might be later. We'll keep you informed there as well, but certainly tomorrow we're going to be back with Ted Cup second group stage. And uh, yeah, later on today, like I said, it's going to be 7 p.m. Neo with some German team leagues and guests. But that's it for me. I'm going to be gone until Wednesday. Wednesday I'll be back to cast uh, TP League or Ted Cup, depending on what it is. I think it's TP League. But yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope I'll see you again here soon.